Hey, hey, <laughs> welcome to the tool shed. Man, we're glad you stopped by this morning. I'm hanging out with my good friend, Eddie McFarlane. And I just realized we wore the same shirt. Well, I don't know. That's because great minds think alike. Uh, yes, but fools seldom differ. Welcome to the tool shed. Hey, this, uh, this one of a kind, unique, Tool Shed is brought to you by Schedule Engine. Thanks for Schedule Engine wow. for letting Eddie and I do this. If you don't know about Schedule Engine, you're a contractor. There's two things you should remember. Less headaches, more booked appointments. Perfect like, recipe like, right there's there. There's a perfect recipe. The, today's episode is going to be really, really good. It's brought to you by our good friends over at Emerson. We're super thankful for that partnership. How cool is good that? Good people. Right? Yeah, I got to meet people. Don Gillis. Don Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got some good stuff. Eddie, uh, tell, yeah. me, tell me something new. So, you know, I was thinking about what we talked about uh, yesterday's uh, episode. And, you know, we're, we're always going to keep it real in the, in the tool shed. And we talked a bit about money. You know, everyone's cup of tea. And sometimes people think, you know, avoid politics, avoid money. But you said it so well. Like, it's literally our job to talk. People want to know. Talk to strangers about money. When can you get here and how much will it cost? That's <laughs> kind of our whole ball of wax, right? And so if you're only talking about half of that, you might only be doing half the job. And so you may as well get used to it because it's not going away. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's such an important conversation because it's not just you. It's your family. We talked about how... Uh, impacts performance, mm -hmm. not just performance uh, for yourself, but your team. We we uh, we reference the great Uncle Joe. Leave your mom in the truck, and and you know don't uh, uh, give options based on your wallet. All of that sort of stuff. So a ton to unpack, and that's probably one. We could have went longer, but it's probably one that you'll want to watch one, once or twice because uh, yeah. it's real. It's real. That's and, a good one. You know what I was just thinking about? Um, if Scotland, yeah, my, may the, put your picture on a dollar bill at some point. Well, wouldn't that be? Uh, hey, you got an Eddie McFarland I can borrow? So, first <laughs> off, um, it would be pound note. Okay, pound. But I'm pretty sure that's not the only reason that's not going to happen. Okay. Because um, it could happen. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. Uh, I think it's pretty much the queen on most of them. So we got some ground to cover if that's, yeah, if that's the yeah. game plan. But that would be kind of cool. Maybe a fifty pence piece. Uh, but. Uh, it's, it's such an important uh, conversation. Today is a deep dive episode, bonus content, more of the same. And, you know, as Jerry and I were talking, one of the things we, we were like, you know, um, we're, we're not gurus. Uh, <laughs> we are not financial planners. No. Seek independent financial counsel, uh, fine print, extra clause. There's a few asterisks. But, but what we do know is, is that we've been around uh, some smart people. Uh, you've, you, you're a big Dave Ramsey proponent. Mm. Uh, he's got some advice. And so uh, as Jerry and I were talking, you know, one of the things we talk about is making the job a little bit easier. Here at the tool shed, that's why we're here. And so, you know, if you've got a little bit of uh, uh, relief from that financial pressure that quite frankly, a lot of us blue collar people face day to day, there's always, you know, a few more expenses than there is money. You know, that makes a difference. Well, it's not only that. Like, uh, you know, for most of the most of the uh, people in the skilled trades, like, they didn't talk about money in school. Uh -uh. Like, we didn't take a class on how to deal with money and how to handle money. And mm -hmm. so you, you, you got some hangups there, and you got to leave your mom in the truck. Right? It, it, you know, it's so interesting because... Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Very rarely uh, does someone come from generational wealth and go, you know, I've got the country estate in France. <laughs> I love living by coastal, but you know what I want to go to do? I'm going to go play in other people's poop. Yeah. I'm going to be a plumber, right? So we're just not equipped for these conversations. At least I'm not. And, and so, um, you know, and by the way, if somebody does have a country estate in France, we, uh, parlez-vous français, we can do this. Mm -hmm. Took two years of that in high school. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, so here's the deal. We're going to do a deep dive. And what I asked was, uh, Jerry, one of the things that can make the people's jobs just a little bit easier is if you shared some of your uh, you know best practices ideas that you've learned from other people and and what would you do and so we'll go through the list and maybe we'll just talk about them. yeah so you know I'll tell you about that Dave Ramsey he's got a great podcast mm. you can get into Dave Ramsey's uh, financial planning yeah he, he does a really good thing he has uh, something called uh, seven baby steps yep yep and 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 I'm gonna share like four of those yeah. okay and cool. and so uh, but all credit to them they know what they're doing yep check uh, them out you know my friend Danny Matar at Airtron yeah. he he went all through that class my friend Mark Dellinger called me recently and said they went through the whole Dave Ramsey class and now they're debt-free and he said it changed 
how they viewed life. I'm telling him you, him and man. his wife said it was life changing when you don't owe people and you don't have to go to work. I'm telling you, it's it's a little overwhelming because yeah. even somebody listening to this might have three thousand dollar debt, twelve thousand credit card debt. Like you know, life comes at you fast a little bit, and and this can almost be a little overwhelming. I, I found like in times. Uh, when I was a younger person and I wasn't so good with finances, just even the conversation about like, hey, are you going to, how many hours are you going to get this? Like I was, it's hard not to feel, um, not inadequate, well, maybe inadequate, I don't know. I, you know, I wasn't as mature as I am now and, and I've still got ways to go. But like, it was even hard to even talk about at yeah. home. And so like, if you're feeling that way, Jerry's got some, uh, some best practices. No, you're not alone. But it's a big, it's a big deal, and it's something that we can uh, maybe hook up with some resources. So what, what would hey, be the first one? Hey, here, here's five quick ones. We'll do five quick ones really, really quick. Hey, the first one was to uh, save a thousand dollars. That's right a on. Dave Ramsey baby step. Kay. Save a thousand dollars. The second one is save three to six months worth of expenses. Got it. So if something happens, right? Yep. We'll go back and invest fifteen percent in your retirement. Ba that's a big one. We're gonna we're gonna yeah, stop there that's, for a while. That, that's when a good back one. To hey, pay off your home early. Yep, and there's ways to do that, and it's not like rocket surgery, right? And uh, you got to you got to give back, and, that, and that's the big one. I that's think. A, that's, a, that's yep. the big opportunity. Yep. So, so um, let's go back. Saving a thousand dollars. It's uh, I, I think if I remember correctly, a lot of the advice from this is is about momentum and just getting a little bit of momentum, and and uh, you know. It, sometimes it's a little overwhelming if it was like, hey, pay off your $20,000 credit card debt. Well, you wouldn't even know where to start. And so a lot of people just don't. They just don't mm -hmm. deal with it. But you can but save $1,000. Yeah, you can probably you, come you, up with a plan. You How can do that. You do like, that you if, know, you if you're an apprentice and you're just getting started in your career, you, you're like, I don't really have a savings. Plan on putting $1,000 into your savings. You can build it up over time. But hey, look, save $1,000. So what happens is this. Once you do that, that relieves that pressure. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a flat tire and you take it in, they yep. say, hey, you really should get four new tires. If you don't have a thousand dollars in your savings, stuff's going to keep happening that, to you. That, yep. that taps into what you're trying to do, and then like you, then you feel that pressure to perform. And yep. sometimes when we're dealing with customers, yep. now we're, we're we brought our we brought our mom to we, and to we brought the call. Our, yeah, and so, uh, whatever financial problem we're going through now, it, it no, it's their it. problem. Yeah. yeah, and so so I, it totally makes sense. Get a small win, get momentum. We talk about uh, mm -hmm. big mo, right? Momentum's on your side. I'd imagine once you go from a thousand, three to six months, and that's a different number for everybody, right? Yeah. But that three to six months then is a bit more manageable, right? That, exactly right. And once you get that three to six months worth of expenses saved up in your savings yep. account, because listen, what happens is sometimes it's just a health issue. So you get hurt, you get hurt on the job. You say, well, I got short-term, long-term disability. I, I've got all that. Hey, some of those things don't kick in right, right away. Yeah. And, and like... You can find somebody in your shop that, that can explain that to you because That's real, it happened buddy. to them. Uh, listen, yeah. I, I heard some crazy number, um, and and it, listen, it's just a reality. I, it's something like eighty some percent of bankruptcies are medical related. Yeah, because it's 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 uh, it's unprepared, and people uh, think they have uh, insurance, and and the term underinsured is what happens, mm -hmm. and so you have insurance, but it only goes so far, and usually it's a copay, and listen, if you, God forbid, you're in a tragic uh, sort of car wreck or whatever, uh, that racks up, and 20% of a law is a law, Yeah, right? And right. so, so th this, that's this idea of uh, making sure that you're building a little uh, a nest egg. Uh, one of the, it, I, 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 um, I read, uh, Tony Robbins has an, another interesting book on this, and what he talked about is sometimes it can be difficult to find you're like, yeah, you're a genius, Rock, rocket surgeons, both of you, save three. It's not like I have the three, six months, like if I, if I had the ability to save, I would. What Tony Robbins says, he, he, he says, when you're making, let's say you're making $10 an hour now, and, and you, you get a raise to $12. You pocket the two. Yeah, and, mm. and here's one thing that one of our companies did when I was a tech. You could set up, it was direct deposit. And so you could you could allocate certain things, just like you could put some in retirement. We could actually set up a second uh, account, and the difference because we're used to living on whatever we're living on, mm -hmm. and we're we're not going to mm -hmm. miss that. He says decide early now. If you're an apprentice and you start this now, woo! I know. Like I train some people, and I say, listen, take some advice from from an old Someone guy. Someone did it wrong. Take take <laughs> some advice from from yep. Santa Claus here. Listen, like if you start your retirement at your age, when you're my age. 
you got have a options. ton of money. Yeah, hey, ton of options. Your, your Tony Robbins story, my yeah. dad did that yeah. for about 20 years. Hold it. Every time he got a raise, he put that into his retirement. Yeah. And he retired. He so, did well in retirement. Here's the thing. We're really good at absorbing incremental income. You know, because if we get, if we get that X amount raise, well, all of a sudden we'll buy a slightly nicer car or we'll... We'll take more, one more week mm-hmm. vacate. We'll, we'll figure a way to put it. And it's not like there isn't a, a ton of um, pressure on us now. And so, yeah, lot, lots to do there. Sometimes we figure out what we're going to do with the raise before we actually even get oh, the I raise. know sales guys that have spent the commission before it's cleared. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so so um, what's the next one? 15% and, pay off your home early. Uh, well, the, the 15%. Uh, I thought we just talked about that. Yep. We can I, talk about it again. No, no. What, the one thing I was going to say, <laughs> I uh, the... Uh, the difference between saving, uh, putting the same amount in at uh, 21, say, say you fund oh, it, and then starting later in life, compound of, uh, interest, compound effect is your friend. And Darren Hardy wrote a great book called uh, Compound Effect, and it's, it, it, time is a secret magic button. And you can actually stop funding it in your 40s. And the difference between someone that starts in their 40s, the, investing the same amount without the, the compound interest effect, it's, it's something like the difference between 400,000 and like 1.2 million. It is exactly. a huge number. Time is your friend. Yeah. And so get on that early and it's never too late to start. Sorry, Jerry. Never too late to start. Thank you. Uh, hey, pay uh, off your home early. Yeah. yeah. Like, we, that's a good one. We both talked about that. There's all kinds of different ways of doing that. Uh, we went uh, bi-month, uh, bi-monthly every, every bi-monthly two weeks. Bi-monthly you can do. You can make one extra house payment a year. I've heard that's good. And cut, cut that thing off by uh, like fi- seven years. 15 years. Uh, you know, yeah. right now I remember talking to my father-in-law and they were talking about the interest rate in the 70s of, of like 18% on mortgages. We, it's a good time. Again, not, not financial planners, not, not mortgages. But look into that. Talk to, talk to your, uh, uh, your financial team that handles your mortgage. They, they'd love to uh, give you some pointers on that, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, what's, what's this and last the, one? The last one that we really wanted to bring to your attention is give back. So you got to give back. So we know lots of people in the trades that uh, they're, they're doing pretty well they're, financially. They're, they're doing really good, And yeah. every single one of them gives back. It's just all a, all of our friends that are coming on Fridays. They're, they all is, give the, back. This is, it's a freebie. Yeah, like, they're coming here off, on uh, their dime. It's, it's a yeah. pure give back. Yeah, and it's uh, you know when you think of schedule engine, uh, started by uh, second generation uh, uh, in, in the trades. Uh, the reason we do this is because they understand the trades, and this is I, I like to think of it as their love letter to to the trades. This is this is there's. You know, this is free. I'm Scottish. I've shopped around. It's tough to beat free. Um, and, and, and it's like, it's, it's a give back. And there's, what other, uh, what other examples have, have you seen of give backs? Uh, man, just all kind of things like children's hospital, yeah. sponsoring the baseball team, like a little league ba- baseball yeah. team. Like, I mean, hey, that's big. Yeah, yeah. That's big. You know, back in the day, I'd, I'd play golf with my dad and we'd be on a golf course and some 40, 50 year old man Mm-hmm. would run, drive his golf cart or run across the fairway and come see my dad and say, hey, you don't remember this, but when I was a kid, you were my coach. Uh, that's cool. And man. somebody had to sponsor that team, and so right. that's the way to do it. Yep, Wounded uh, Warriors, uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, I know tons of people that give away heating systems. Uh, mm-hmm. and there's all kinds of ways to give back, and, and man, it's important. It's impossible to give back without receiving something in yourself. Yeah. And, you know, it, we're, we're all connected in this world. And so it's, it's a good opportunity to do it. But it all starts from understanding financial freedom. Uh, go seek resources. We're just here to scratch the itch. You got to go do the homework. And then you got to take action. Like everything, here at the tool shed, uh, we're, this is the huddle, but the game's out there, That's right? right? You got to go play the game. So anyway, thank you. Like we said, thank you to Schedule Engine. Thank you so much to Emerson. Uh, I, total uh, give back, right? They, they get it. Back. They're here to make the to elevate the trade, and so we really appreciate it. Uh, Jerry, take us out. Hey, thanks for coming by the tool shed today. Be good so you can do good. Have a great day. We love you and care about you. See thanks you next for coming. Time. See you tomorrow.